Welcome back everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of this Minecraft mod making series. Now in lesson 2 we're going to be setting up Minecraft Forge. The first step in doing this is we'll visit files.minecraftforge.net and from here you'll see all these downloads but the one we'll be focusing on is right here. 1.7.2 recommended. You won't want to download the latest one. Recommended is the recommended build um, for Minecraft Forge and so you can see we'll just press source right here and it'll take us to add file where we can be redirected to the download. So all you do is you wait for this here and press skip add and it'll give you the option to download this file. Press save file and drag it to the desktop. If it will even go to the desktop. When Once you've dragged it to your desktop you're gonna right click your background and press new folder. All I will call this is Minecraft Mod Tutorial and you can call it whatever you want. All you're gonna do, put this in here and do the same thing we did to the last zip we had is we'll extract it to this folder. So if you don't remember how to do this, we'll open up uh, this with WinRAR and we will click extract to and press OK. Simple as that. And it'll extract this folder right here and we have everything we need. So what you're going to do now is you're going to click your start icon and go to search programs and files and type cmd. Click this icon right here that says cmd.exe. From here we're going to type cd space. Now what you'll do is you'll go into your Minecraft mod tutorial folder and go to this folder we just made and drag it into cmd. This will make it so it has little quotations around it and now click enter. Now we are inside this folder and we'll be able to run anything that is within this folder. The program we'll want to run is gradlew.bat and then type eclipse. What this will do is it will configure everything for us. So all you have to do is wait for it and it will be done in a second. Now from here you're going to see this say right here, build successful. And that means your build was basically successful, it's self-explanatory. Then the second one thing you're going to type is gradlew.bat set up, lowercase setup, capital D and dev, capital W and workspace, all one word. Then you're going to type dash dash refresh dash dependencies and press enter. This will do another thing on your computer that you'll just have to wait for. Alright, another build successful. If you are having any trouble with this, remember you can always leave a comment in the section down below and I'll be able to get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to leave me uh, detailed um, reasons why it crashed and try and give me anything in CMD that might have gone wrong and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to go and double tap Eclipse, the shortcut that we made. And you can see right here, I have blurred my name out, but it says computer slash users slash your user slash workspace and that's not really where we want to set our workspace. So where you're going to go is you're going to go to C slash users slash your name slash desktop because that's where we put our folder slash minecraft mod tutorial and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click this, press rename and just copy that with control C and put slash that. You can always rename that if you want to, um, but you're just going to type slash that and then slash eclipse. Hit enter and this will be loading up our workspace we have created in here. So you can see we have a subfolder named Eclipse. This is where our workspace is. And boom. You have all these folders available now. So, 
And what you're going to do first in this is you're going to open the folder that's titled Minecraft, the only folder that is there when you open up Eclipse. And you're going to right click source slash main slash java. And if it doesn't want to go crazy on me, you're going to press new or hover over new and press package. And you can see we can name it. So name them. Um, you want to name this uh, like a website that you have. If you do have a website, you want to write it in reverse like com dot. Um, my website www um, that's how they do it in Java but I do not have a website so I'm going to type in rubymod.regular so press finish and you do not need this here so you can just delete that and you can see we just have this little package right here doing nothing so we have to right click this and make a new class now you have an option to name this class as well. So what we'll call this class is we'll call it Ruby Mod. So keep in mind this is the name of your mod you're gonna have right here. So I'm calling this Ruby Mod, and we have these lines of Java. Now it may be a little confusing, so I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. <laughs> so above public class Ruby Mod, you're gonna type at capital M mod open bracket lowercase mod ID then put the equal sign and then hit the quotation mark it will automatically end with another quotation mark and all you're gonna type in here is capital R for Ruby capital M for mod Ruby mod so this is the name of our mod then you're gonna put a comma and a space and then type version so this version is still in alpha so we'll just call it version 1.0 this is version 1 of our mod now you can see we have this little squiggly underline underneath mod so what this is is that means we have an error here so all you're gonna need to do to fix this error is hover over mod and this little window will come up it says mod cannot be resolved to a type so all you do is you click this thing that says import mod cpw.mods.fml.common and the error will disappear. This is importing the mods uh, forge mod loader into here so we can use this at mod command. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into public class Ruby mod and type public space Ruby mod all one word open bracket and you're not going to put anything in those brackets and then you'll make one of these open brackets the uh, squiggly brackets and you're going to press space and now we have some room to write our code in in here we're going to type um, absolutely nothing yet <laughs> okay also in public class ruby mod right underneath it we'll type at cited proxy capital S for cited capital P for proxy open bracket client side capital S for side equals and then put the quotes Ruby mod lowercase Ruby lowercase M for mod dot regular dot proxy capital P client sap, capital C side capital S so this is our client side that we use in Minecraft. So if you've ever played Minecraft, you would know that there's uh, online and single player. So client side is what you play single player with. So another thing we have is we'll need to make the multiplayer side. So we'll type client side and we'll also type server side, which is the multiplayer aspect of proxy. Now, in these brackets, you'll type Ruby mod, or in these quotations, RubyMod.regular dot capital P proxy capital C com RubyMod.regular dot proxy com Boom! We have an error though, right here. Hover over it and press import. That will import cited proxy and you can see it still has a red underline under it. 
So what we're going to need to do is we'll need to type this move public static proxy com proxy then put a semicolon at the end and that error is gone but we do have an error right here and it can't be solved by importing so we'll have to get to that soon um, uh, now we're going to make so we're going to fix this error right now by right clicking the uh, ooh, okay. Now to fix this error, all we're going to do is we're going to right click rubymod.regular and click new class. What you're going to rename this class is whatever we named it down here. So we're going to call this proxy what? So now to solve this error, all we're going to do is we're going to right click rubymod.regular, hover over new and click class. We're going to name this class proxy client side, whatever we named right here. Press finish. And we have this whole area right here. So now you're going to add to the end of public class uh, proxy client side. We're going to type extends proxy, capital P for proxy, capital C for com, proxy com. And do not forget to frequently save. So now we'll save right here. And you can see it can't be resolved to a type either. So what we'll have to do here is we will have to make another class under rubymod.regular called proxycom. And all the errors are gone. Save it. And now we've got this. All these errors have disappeared and we're error free now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to write in the brackets of proxycom public static void capital R render capital I information make an open bracket and make an open squiggly bracket and I wrote informatio information now you're going to go back to proxy client side. Don't forget to save. And you're going to type the exact same thing. You can just copy or paste if you want to. And save it. There are no errors. We are error free. And that would be it for episode two. Thank you for watching this episode, and be sure to come back for more and subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching. And coming down here, and you'll see um, this little box area right here. So what you want to do is you have to accept this uh, license agreement, so you just press accept. And I'll say thank you, and now you can download any of these. We're not going to focus on any of these. You can choose whatever you like if you're making something else besides what I'm making, but I would recommend choosing material.rock first because um, chances are you don't have experience with mods but if you are experienced um, you can